Crew Channel. It is January 31st, 2017. And I've been looking at some information over the past couple of days pertaining to what is happening with the inside of the earth. And today, we're starting to uncover the truth about what is happening to the earth. And most of this, if not all of this, has to do with the presence of a brown dwarf star in our solar system affecting the sun and our planet, as well as all of the other planets in our solar system. Now, I'm going to go on the record with this statement and simply say that these are my beliefs. However, scientists are now starting to uncover some very important information. A lot of this has to do with the sudden rise in earthquake activity, the sudden heating of the Earth's core, and the possibility of explaining all of these internal sounds that people have been hearing for years that seem to undulate up into the skies, when in fact, these sounds are coming from deep, deep inside of the Earth's core. Now, we're going to go ahead and get right into the information. This diagram is showing you the orbits of several satellites that have been placed into space by the European Space Agency. Codename SWARM, S-W-A-R-M. And what they are doing is they are doing some very serious research internally pertaining to the Earth's core because they have recognized what is happening. Now, they're relating this to the heading, there is a jet stream in our core dated December 19th, 2016. I might add that this research was conducted not by American scientists, but European scientists, specifically a gentleman from Denmark. Now, I'll leave a link to this information and you could examine it and you can go through it all you want. Now, I'm sure all of the debunkers will have something to say about this report. So the beginning starts off with, we would normally associate jet streams with the weather, but thanks to the European Space Agency's magnetic field mission, scientists have discovered a jet stream deep below the Earth's surface, and it is speeding up. Now, this mission was not launched, but a few years ago, in 2013. And this mission consists of three satellites that orbit the Earth, and they are taking very specific measurements of the Earth's core, mantle, crust, oceans, ionosphere, and magnetosphere. The magnetosphere is very important to our planet, very important. Now, it further states that together, the signals coming from the satellites orbiting our planet, the signals coming back to the satellites form the magnetic field that protect us. They are measuring this. Our magnetosphere protects us from cosmic radiation and charged particles that stream towards the Earth in the form of solar winds. Now, this is why we've been paying so close attention to the solar winds, the coronal holes, and all of these radiated particles blasting the earth so frequently that it has become an everyday occurrence, meaning we're not getting a break from any of these coronal holes opening on the sun. They seem to be getting quite large, bigger and bigger as the days and the weeks go by. So my question, what is happening to the sun? Now, I'm not a scientist by any means, but you can clearly see with the information that we put out based on these coronal holes, they are getting bigger. They are causing damage to our planet. They are associated with earthquakes. The evidence, the scientific reports have been out there for many, many years. So basically going into the report, and I'm not going to read all of this and bore you to death. 
But basically what they're saying is that the Earth's internal core is spinning. And it is actually gaining speed. The internal pressure of our planet is heating up. But what is heating it? What is causing our core to spin? Something has to attract the Earth's core in order for it to spin faster. Now, the scientific research that this article goes into, it will specifically tell you everything that you want to know. However, they're leaving out very important parts of this research. And I think they know the reason why this is happening. So if you took, for instance, a solid metal ball inside of the earth, which would be the core, and that core slowly rotates normally. If you would take another highly magnetic body, such as a brown dwarf, which emits super heavy magnetism, then it would start to interact not only with our sun, but with our earth. Pulling on it, tugging on it, creating the internal friction that we're now seeing in the form of internal pressure and all of the earthquakes that are suddenly occurring all over the planet. And we're seeing patterns of it. But they're not going to release this information and tell you that they know the reason why this is happening. Now, further into this article, it does have a link right here. There's a hyperlink for the paper that was published. And if you like, you can go ahead and you can read it. But the information provided in here that I've read only leads me to believe one thing. And that is something is disturbing our planet. And it is something that is not natural to our inner solar system. Well, let me rephrase that, our entire solar system. A lot of information that has not been released is the fact that every single planet in our solar system has been disturbed over a period of time as this system has made its way into our solar system and now orbiting the sun and possibly on its way out. Now, the scientific research that I've fallen into, the people that I've spoke with, have stated that the sun would have slowed this brown dwarf down. They would have interacted with each other and almost held this brown dwarf in place, slowly moving around the sun, as well as the planets that belong to this brown dwarf, well, they will continue their natural orbits around this brown dwarf. Now, folks, this system is not as big as our solar system. It is a small system. It is within our solar system at a very acute angle. Therefore, you're not always going to see it. Now, this little video presentation is showing you the three satellites that continually orbit the Earth, and these are the satellites that are taking all of the readings from within the Earth's core. This is how they are measuring and gaining this data. So we'll just take a little quick look at it so you can see these three satellites. Apparently they're in a very synchronized orbit around the Earth. And once again, they are measuring everything pertaining to what they need to get as far as data to find out what is happening with inside of our planet. Pretty interesting, don't you think? But once again, no one is going to step up to the plate and tell us exactly what is happening. So once again, you can go through and you can read the rest of this article. It's very informative. It's not very scientific as far as giving you a very good understanding of what is happening. 
But what is happening? The problems that are occurring right now inside of our planet are creating problems outside of our planet. Now, this is something that we've never gone through before. I don't care what any scientist says. In the history of modern man, we have never gone through this. And now, since January 25th, they've taken down all of the information pertaining to monitoring the magnetosphere. When we're looking at SETCHI images, we can't get any further than January 25th. Why is that? There hasn't been any press release talking about damage to the spacecraft and the camera systems that monitor the sun and give us this information. So therefore, what are they hiding? We know that we have an issue with the sun. I don't think it has anything to do with this solar minimum that everyone is talking about. Because this has been happening with our sun for almost a year. And then going back several years ago, when this planetary system came into our solar system, they immediately shut down all of the feeds to all of the information because it would have opened up some eyes and created a lot of questions. I believe it was back in April of 2016, we had a magnetosphere reversal and immediately the feeds were cut. The information was denied. And then I believe they claimed that it was a glitch. Wow. So it's that easy to use a simple word to lie to the world population by saying it was a glitch. I'm not buying it. There are too many things going on around the globe that are noticeable. And I have mentioned this time and time again, going back into the middle of the summer of 2016. And I told everyone, Whenever we get into the winter time in the northern hemisphere of this planet, by the time we hit 2017, January and February, we are going to start noticing some very severe changes with our planet. They cannot all be explained by Mother Nature. They just can't. And believe me, they have scientists on this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's a fact. They're trying to protect themselves with science instead of just being real with the world population and telling us the truth about what is happening. The bottom line is, sooner than later, the world population is going to see with their own eyes. And then what are we going to do? Because we've wasted so much time waiting for world governments to step up to the plate and tell the damn truth. The bottom line is they're still spending all of our money putting up satellites and spacecraft well, they're not going to save our lives. Figuring out that there's a jet stream in the interior of our planet is not going to save our lives. Letting us know what is happening, giving us time for preparation is something that would possibly save your life. Our planet is being radiated with the solar winds on a daily basis, these massive coronal holes are disrupting human life. You may not notice it, but it's happening. The time is now, people. Wake up, open up your eyes, stop listening to the debunkers and the idiots that run around and try to tell you that there's nothing happening. 
Although, where I live, through the whole month of December, I live in the Northeast, the temperatures are usually anywhere from 25 degrees Fahrenheit to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, hell, it's been like springtime. The grass was growing. Flowers are blooming. The temperatures are in the high 60s. Global warming? The possibility of an ice age? Oh, come on. We have very serious issues, folks. It's time for all of us. We need to stop allowing the powers that be to dumb us down like we are walking zombies with no brains and no intelligence. So like I said, folks, very important article to read. These scientists are definitely on to something. It was just a matter of time before one of them released their scientific research. And it was only a matter of time before someone figures it out. So with that said, I'm going to leave you with this article. I appreciate you listening to me. Take advantage of it. Read all of the information. Come to your own conclusions. But this is my opinion. Thank you for watching. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 31st, 2017. And I've been looking at some information over the past couple of days pertaining to what is happening with the inside of the earth. And today, we're starting to uncover the truth about what is happening to the earth. And most of this, if not all of this, has to do with the presence of of a brown dwarf star in our solar system affecting the Sun and our planet as well as all of the other planets in our solar system now I'm gonna go on the record with this statement and simply say that these are my beliefs however scientists are now starting to uncover some very important information. A lot of this has to do with the sudden rise in earthquake activity, the sudden heating of the Earth's core, and the possibility of explaining all of these internal sounds that people have been hearing for years that seem to undulate up into the skies, when in fact, these sounds are coming from deep, deep inside of the Earth's core. Now, we're going to go ahead and get right into the information. This diagram is showing you the orbits of several satellites that have been placed into space by the European Space Agency. Codename SWARM, S-W-A-R-M. And what they are doing is they are doing some very serious research internally pertaining to the Earth's core because they have recognized what is happening. Now, they're relating this to the heading, there is a jet stream in our core, dated December 19th, 2016. I might add that this research was conducted not by American scientists, 